That's me. The cry baby. I'm going in the gym. Don't want to, but I'm going. You know. Um I'm gonna do things that make me uncomfortable. <coughs> I took a CBD oil this morning that is just not for me. My thing is ashy. Ugh. I'm gonna go to the gym. I haven't ate shit. That's probably why I feel like shit. I'm gonna go to the gym and then afterwards I'm gonna go to a coffee shop in the arts district of Las Vegas because I literally taste oil in my mouth. That's the only place I feel safe and I'm still alone but like less. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. And I'm just gonna chill. I've never done that before, so I've literally never just gone to a coffee shop by myself and sat and thought about life or my dad's calling me. Sorry, dad, I can't talk right now or anything. Fear and depression in Las Vegas. If you don't know the original, you need to watch that movie but this is titled fear and depression in las vegas i don't know we'll figure it out Okay, let me just say, my car is so dirty, I haven't washed it in like two months since I moved here, whatever. This is the place I am. There is no um, sign. It's kind of like secret, whatever. Um, this is like, this is called Gabby Coffee and Bakery. So it's through these doors and um, I just don't want to film outside because it's so hot, but I just go through there. <laughs> stuck in this lease for six months stress the fuck out alone not knowing what the fuck to do i'm sitting outside my own house because i don't even want to go in oh, i fucking hate it here i know what you're thinking oh poor her she has a nice house in vegas and she's unhappy allowed to be unhappy I would much rather be in a one bedroom apartment in Houston getting to see my family <sighs> I was also fucking scammed out of $12,000 last year from a realtor in Houston <laughs> I need to get a lawyer for that. <laughs> His name is Jake Alexander, official <laughs> underscore on Instagram. If anyone wants to get a hold of him for me, because he blocked all four of my of my pages and my phone number. 
Jake Alexander Realty on Google. Oh. I never wanted to come here. But you know, I heard from a friend today that this is my journey and I had to come here. And I'm, I guess I did, I had to come here to figure it out. It's only six months. Am I in purgatory? <laughs> is this hell? outside. The sun is just beating the fuck down. I don't even want to go in my house. I might leave again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's not like I couldn't fly back, but now I'm, I have three animals and I mean, I can get a sitter, but like, my view my house is like two minutes from this I'm sitting on a shore dock dock shore I don't know I mean the turtle is right there oh it poked its head back down I am just sitting on this dock I've been sitting on this dock um for like five minutes and the sun is already beating me to death The sun, the sun is evil. I'm sorry. I feel like a hot mess today. I hate my hair. I just feel like like a cow. Like I feel so gross. I feel so alone. I feel so dissociated. I feel not good. But my turtle friend is like right there. It keeps. Can you see the turtle? It's right there. Ew. I had a good workout. I'm just gonna work out every day and do whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just know it's super hot out here and I'm literally melting and I look like a clown. I think there's minnows in the water. I think that's how you say minnows. I'm gonna get out of the sun though, because I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack. Um, I don't know what this video today was about. Um, I'm just really manifesting leaving. Only been here a month, five more months to go. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to leave sooner. I don't know how to adult. It's like I do, but I don't. I'm not okay adulting here. That's all I know. Minnow! Didi. Go away with your fishy friends. Aw, another one. I think this is like a man-made lake and they just put minnows in here. I don't know. But I don't like oceans because of shit like this. Like... You could just jump and some shit like this big old brick thing would be in there. What is that? Like you could jump and break your legs, you know what I mean? The fuck? No, nobody wants that. Ugh, I have thalassophobia. 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 I don't know. Oh. What the fuck?
I don't know where to start here. This YouTube video was supposed to be published three weeks ago in Vegas. I am now um, back in Houston, where I belong. I never needed to go to Vegas to find my happiness, um, to do better. I never, I never needed to leave my home to do those things, but I think I needed to leave to realize I didn't have to do that. I think that's the way the world works. I mean, yeah, I still have that lease for three more months. It's $2,600 a month, but I could not be in that house one more minute. I couldn't even do a house tour because I just, that was not my home. Um, I'm currently at my dad's house. Um, I still have a lease in Houston too, y'all. I. That's another thing. I am cutting back on so much stuff. Um, you don't have to live lavish to, to climb a higher ladder to be successful. Like each year, I truly thought you, you had to have a bigger place, a bigger house, a bigger something to feel more successful and established and show that you made it. And that's just absolutely 0% true. Wealth is a way you feel. It's not, it's not the material things. I left all my furniture and everything in Vegas. I left everything there. I left everything. I drove 20 hours non-stop no sleep not to be gross but like i started my period and i i didn't even stop <gasps> i i stopped to let my dog out to walk and i mean besides that i kept driving i never stopped 20 hours straight back to houston where i belong i do belong here this is my home for now I don't want another apartment, y'all. I have moved five places in four years. That, I think three years actually. That is just ridiculous. Yeah, three years. That is ridiculous. Costing over 50K just for all of that nonsense. I'm done. I don't need material things. I don't, I don't care. The next phase of my life is gonna be getting a Sprinter van next year and just living so modestly and just travel or not travel and go stay in a Walmart parking lot. I just, that was not, that wasn't where I was supposed to be. I lost my tattooing. I lost my mentor. I lost everything there. I don't regret any of it though, because none, like everything was supposed to happen the way it happened. And I can't, I can't sit here and say I regret any of it because it was supposed to happen that way. That's just the way it was supposed to happen. There's nothing else I can say. I I was extremely depressed. I I I couldn't think over there. So now I'm back in Houston. The other day I literally started crying my eyes out and thinking about my dad and he called me. And then before I could even say anything, he just said, Come home. Please come home. And that day I knew I had to pack up my car and come home. This is where I belong. Vegas is not where I belong. This is my home. And yes, I could go and get another apartment if I wanted, but I need, I'm gonna step back and realize I don't have to do that to find success and happiness. You know, people will be like, oh, ha ha, you live with your parents. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, my dad has um, a nice pool he built. I'll show that in another video and all that, the stuff he does. He builds really cool things. Um, he has a koi pond, you know, a little 
cabana thing he built and then he has a um a pool house it's connected to uh it's not connected to his house it's a guest house um i'm gonna live in that and like make it into my own little home there's like a full kitchen and everything in it a bathroom and everything so it used to be the movie theater room but i'm gonna convert it into like my living space um there's no ac in it so i'm sleeping on my dad's couch right now um, but hopefully the AC is going to get fixed today. And y'all, if I can tell y'all anything, even if you have a little bit of money, you don't have to live above. You can live below your means and be just fine. I think I had to do all of that to realize that in this moment. Um, I could be a future you talking to yourself right now. I don't know, but I know that. I shouldn't have done that. That was the worst mistake I could have made, but I can't beat myself up over it. I can't. I did what I did. I live up and I own up to it. I own up to all the money I spent, which now I'm, y'all, I do my own nails. I do my own nails now. <laughs> like I made this hand short cause I'm doing something like, don't worry about them. Don't look. But, um, I just want to live well, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm still, I, I'm back in my tattoo studio in Houston. I, that is my grounding spot. That is my safe space. That's where I feel my best. I'm back on my medications. Um, I switched to Cymbalta and, um, back on the Klonopin. So that really helps y'all. The other day I was driving home and I, I didn't even think I was a real person. Um, I was literally driving home and I, I thought I was fake, a robot, a simulation. I, um, I had to call my family a few times and be like, are you sure I'm not, I wasn't made in a, a chamber or like, <laughs> my dad's calling me. Dad, I'm outside. <sighs> so you know my dad. Oh, for those that think I don't have family, like, I do. <laughs> um, I'll be able to do more family posts and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm back home, and that's what's important. Um, let me know what y'all want to see in the next video. Um, I can... <sighs> My dad just texted me the power's out. I'm just happy to be home. Um, anything y'all want to see, leave it down in the comments below. Questions, comments, whatever it may be. Um, like and subscribe if y'all want. Um, thank y'all for 20, 20,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Um, that is a big leap. I've been on YouTube for almost three years. I mean, that, 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 some people make a million in a day, but, like, I'm really happy for the 20,000 people that care to see some of my life. <laughs> It's been hectic, it's been negative. Um, I don't wanna bring all the negative journeys with me. I do have happy journeys, but man, this was something, this was something different. Even if I had to experience that to like, just help one person, that's fine. That was a lot. I genuinely feel a little traumatized from all that. And y'all, no, no hate to my ex. Um, no hate to him at all. He, all he ever did was try to help. I'm the one that couldn't accept the help or want to change the way things were. I, I don't, I don't want to talk about him. He's a good person. He really is a good person. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just, you have to go through things and realize sometimes it's just better to be alone and figure your own stuff out before, like, if you don't love yourself and you don't care about yourself, like, you, you, you cannot have the mental capacity to love someone else. It's just, you don't, you can't. That's just the truth. So now I'm I'm gonna be tattooing in Houston. I'm gonna be doing my um my my adult website. You know I'm still doing all that. 
um, I don't know what's to come next and that's the exciting part. If you knew everything, what, what would there be to talk about, you know? You, if you knew everything, like, what a boring life that would be. So I'll end it there. Um, more to come. More consistency to come, y'all. I'm back on my meds. I'm going to stable myself out. Um, it is very hot in Houston. I will say that, but I do like the humidity. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I feel like I have, like my lungs are lubricated. Like it's just, oh, it's good. It's good. I like it. I really miss Houston. This is my home. Maybe I had to drive 3,000 miles plus to realize that, but Houston's my home. and love. Have a wonderful day. Just peace and love and be kind, y'all. That's, that's all. Might be as cliche as it is. It's such the truth. Um, just be kind. Anyways, I'm going to try to go to the gym now.